Hi friends, my name is Miss Maggie and I'd love to read you a story today called Bears on Wheels. It's another Berenstein bear story and this one has all different kinds of bears riding all different kinds of bikes that have lots and lots of different wheels. And it is a counting story so I wanted to take a few minutes to do some counting with you. I know that lots of you are really good at counting and lots of you know your numbers and you can count up to 20. Some of you can count even higher than 20. Some of you are still working on counting up to 20 and that's okay. Counting is something that you can do all the time. I know that when my kids were little and learning to count, we counted when they brushed their teeth at night, we counted when we set the table for dinner, we counted when we went on walks, we did counting all day long. But another part of counting is counting objects and making sure that you are touching each object and counting them correctly. And so I wanted to do a little bit of practice with that. I want to do a little bit of practice with that with you today and I wanted to show you if I were to take some of my elephants that I have and if I were to line them up like this I wanted to just sort of remind or review with you that when you are counting it doesn't matter which way you start you can start on this end and count towards you or you can start on this end and count towards you what really matters is that you count each one only once. And the way that I always practice counting is I make sure that I touch the one that I'm counting. And if I'm able to, if I'm counting objects, if I'm able to move them, I move them out of the way. That way I make sure that I don't count them twice. So watch me as I practice counting these elephants that I have right here. I'm gonna count them and I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. And so you notice that I touched each one and I moved it so that way I only counted it once as I was going through. Now you might find that sometimes you might have objects that are sort of not in a straight line and you might have to count them if they look like that too. You can choose to either take your objects and put them into a straight line or you can leave them like this but when you count them, move them out of the way. That way you're not counting anything twice. So watch me as I do something like that. I'm going to count my elephants again, and I'm going to move them. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And maybe I want to add some more elephants because oftentimes you're going to have a lot of something. Maybe you have lots of Barbie dolls, maybe you have lots of race cars, maybe you have lots of blocks or grapes in your cereal or at your breakfast table that you want to be counting. So if you have lots of different things, you can still count them. You just need to make sure that you are only counting everything one time and you're not skipping any of your numbers. So if I were to take all of these and count them, watch what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them up and I'm going to move them as I count one number for each object. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And you will notice that I said all only the numbers one time. I didn't repeat any numbers and I made sure to count all of the objects and move them out of the way, that way I didn't count them two times. So when you are counting on your own at home, and I encourage you to count all day long, the more you practice, the better you will get at counting. And soon you'll be able to do things like count up to a really, really high number, You'll also be able to start doing things called skip counting and we can talk about that too where we put them into groups of five or we put them into groups of ten and we practice counting by those kinds of numbers. But what's most important is that you're touching each one, only counting it one time and saying all of your numbers only one time. So in our story today, let's read and find out about the different vehicles that these bears are on 
and let's count some of those wheels. Bears on Wheels by Stan and Jan Berenstein. One bear, one wheel. One bear on one wheel. Two bears on one wheel. Three on one, four on one. Let's count those four bears together. One, two, three, four. Four bears on one wheel. One bear on two wheels. What do you think might happen? They're heading in the same direction. Whoa! Four on two, one on one again. One on one, three on three. Let's count those three bears. One, two, three. And let's count those three wheels. One, two, three. Whoa, they all flew off the bike. So now there are none on four or zero bears on these four wheels. And four bears on none or no wheels. One on one again. Do you notice anything up in this tree? Five on one. Five bears on one. Five bears on none. Let's count these five bears. One, two, three, four, five. Ten on one. These five bears jumped onto these five bears. Five plus five equals ten bears on one wheel. One bear on five wheels. Do you see that one bear? And he's on a vehicle that has five wheels. Oh, and he is looking nervous. One on five. 10 on one, and 10 on 10. What do you think might happen? 21 on none. All of the bears are up in the air. One on one, again, the end. Let's go back and let's count all 21 of these bears together. Can you help me? I'm going to use my finger to touch each one as we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21 and then it ends again with one on one again the end thanks for reading that story with me and helping me with the counting of all of those wheels you may remember that in one of our other lessons that we had I was talking to you about um, 10 frames and 10 frames being squares of 10 that you can use to practice your one-on-one -on -one correspondence and your counting and getting a really good solid number sense. Another thing that you can use for your 10 frames is you can use an egg carton and an egg carton is a really easy 10 frame base. All that I did was I cut off the last two so that I have a row of five and I have a row of five. And again, you can use this to really help you understand that when you count a number, you are only counting one thing and you can put it inside of your egg carton. So if you wanted to play a game, 
you could again, you could get a deck of cards, you could get Uno cards, whatever cards you have with numbers. You could even make your own cards if you have to. And then you pick a card. This one says the number four. And so I put the number four here and then I would count out four objects. One, two, three, four. And then you can practice counting that way. And eventually you'll get so good at this with all of the practice that you'll do that you will know that this is the number four because you will recognize that five go across the top and four is one less than five. If you were to pick another card, maybe your card would be the number nine. You could then count out nine of your counters and eventually, as I said, you will get so good at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that you will know that nine counters looks like this because all of this is 10. And if you are adding nine, you're going to have one less than 10. So you'll fill it up this way. And eventually you will get so good that if you pick a number like this, and you may have trouble seeing it because it's yellow, it's the number 12. Well, if I were to be doing the number 12, I would put in counting my 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And 12 is so big, it doesn't fit in our 10 frame. So 12 is a group of 10 and two more. And like I said, the more you practice this, the better you will become. And soon these numbers and counting will be super duper easy for you. So, I encourage you to keep counting, keep practicing counting all of your numbers up to 20. And when you get up to 20, keep going and then practice your counting. Remember you touch everything one time. And if it's a group, you want to move it over that way. You're only counting it one time and saying each number only one time. Keep up the great work. I can't wait to see you again soon and practice counting with you.